morning, everyone. Welcome to another outside edition of Nova Kids Online. We have been treated to a wonderful start to our summer here in Nova Scotia. We've had fantastic weather again this week, and I am so thankful. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask you some questions. So you raise your hands at home if you um, if you've done the following. If you've been to the beach yet, raise your hand. If you've been to a pool, either at your own house or at a friend's house, raise your hand. If you've had a water balloon fight, raise your hand. Oh, I see those hands. You guys, water balloon fights are so fun. I personally just like throwing the balloons and I don't actually like balloons being thrown at me. Um, if you have run through a sprinkler to cool off, raise your hand. I think everybody needs to have a sprinkler to run through and remember their childhood memories. I think they are a lot of fun and yeah. But I will focus. Ooh, focus. Focus on my faith. That's what we've been talking about this month. Actually, we're gonna talk about it all summer long. Focusing on our faith and knowing Jesus and how he changes, how he can change your life. And faith is when you can trust in something you can't see because of what you can see. This week, our bottom line is knowing Jesus changes the way you see people. I'm going to let the so-and-so show explain further. Okay, enjoy. Hello, kids. It's time for another rousing game of Where's Brando? See if you can help me find him. Oh, ha ha! Is Brando underneath this chicken? No, he is not! Is Brando next to this table tennis court? No, he is not! Is Brando underneath this desk? No, he is not! Is Brando hiding underneath this robot helmet? Mm. No! No, he, he's not. <laughs> where is Brando? Seriously, where's Brando? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Coconuts. Am I right? I'm Brandon. Uh, and I'm John, and welcome to the so-and-so show. Popsicles. Am I right? Brandon, Brandon, what are you doing? Where did, where did you get that popsicle? Oh, Longbeard Carl left it in the studio a couple weeks ago. Doing now? Just enjoying the summertime, my friend. Yeah, but you don't need sunscreen inside. I know, but don't you just love the smell of it? It's like the smell of summer. Uh, see? Ugh. Ugh. Does it's, that smell like summer? No, it smells like my Aunt Agatha's beach house. Oh, what's the difference? Hey! What's, what's the, the difference? difference? What's the difference? So, in this game, we're gonna see two photographs that look the same, but really aren't. Yep, and whoever finds what's different first, wins. Oh, 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 oh I'm so gonna win. I wouldn't be too sure. Uh -huh. Let's go. All right. Ah, summer. That's what my arm smells like. Mm -hmm. We look like we're having a good time, John. Yeah, but these photos look exactly the same. I can't see anything that looks... Uh, uh, no. Wait. Got it. On the left picture, there's a sun in the sky, and there are people playing in the water. And on the right picture, it has no sun, and there are no people in the water. Oh! Well, good observation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next photo. Cool, now we're at the pool. 
I could sure use a dip right now. What about you, John? No time, focused on the game. Sure, hey, but don't forget to have fun. It's only a game. Oh, in the first photo, my face is sometimes sad, sometimes angry. In the second photo, my expression is more perplexed and pensive. Oh! Wow. That's a very subtle difference. Yeah, there's nothing subtle about it. Next. Uh, looks like a good day for a picnic. Sure, 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 sure. Concentrating. 13, 14, 15. What are you counting? The blades of grass in each picture. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's gonna take you all day. 22. Can't we just look for Got it! In the right photo, I am smiling slightly wider than in the left photo. What? No, no, zoom in to a close up. See? In this one, I'm like, and in this one, I'm like, like that. They're different. Or, there are clouds in the photo on the left, but no clouds on the right. Ha! Oh, man. And the winner is John. <laughs> oh, yes! Best two Why? Well, it's best two out of three, buddy. So why'd we even do the third photo? You'd already won. I know, I just, I love winning. <laughs> it's Bible Story Time with Kellen. Bible stories are so fun, I get to tell them to everyone. Hey, 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 and here to help me tell the story are the so-and-so show players. I am so and so excited. Can we play the game again? This story happened sometime after Jesus had died and come back to life, which, by the way, is still an amazing thing to think about. It was so amazing that many people believed in Jesus just because of what they heard about him. But here's something you may not have known. Many Jesus followers at the time thought you had to be Jewish before you could follow Jesus. In fact, there were laws that said Jewish people and non-Jewish people, or Gentiles, couldn't even hang out together. So our story begins in the home of a Gentile, the Roman commander Cornelius, about three o'clock in the afternoon. I wonder what time it is. I'm guessing three o'clock in the afternoon, huh? Hey! That's right. Cornelius. Whoa! What is it, Lord? Your prayers and gifts to poor people are like offerings to God, and he has remembered you. <sighs> Send men to Joppa and have them bring back a man called Peter. Okay. <laughs> so Cornelius sent three men to Joppa to find Peter. Around noon the next day, Peter was on the roof praying when he got really, really hungry. Lord, you are faithful. I pray that you... Whoa, I'm hungry. I wonder if lunch is ready yet. Whoa, I'm hungrier than I thought I was. Peter had a vision. He saw something like a sheet being let down from heaven. Oh, where are we? on this guy's roof. Hey, who is that guy? In his vision, Peter saw animals of all kinds in the sheet. They probably weren't talking animals, but they were the kind of animals that would have been against the law for Peter to eat. As Peter watched, he heard a voice. Get up, Peter. Kill and eat. What did that voice say? Kill and eat. Oh. Wait, us? No. Lord, I won't do it. I I've never eaten anything that isn't pure and clean. Do not say anything is not pure that God has made clean. Whose side are you on here, vision voice? The vision was repeated three times. Oh. 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 Oh, I'm dizzy and confused. Are you going to eat us or not? Then the sheet was immediately taken back up to heaven. Hang on! No! What could this vision mean? 
At that very moment, the three men Cornelius sent to find Peter arrived. And the next day, Peter went with them to Cornelius' house. You're here. Oh, stand up. I, look, I'm a human being, just like oh. everybody else. I've brought all of my family and all of my friends to hear what you have to say. Go on, say hello, everybody. Hello, hello Peter! Peter! Uh, hello, everyone. It's, it's nice to meet you. Um, you know it's against our law for me, a Jew, to enter the home of a Gentile or, or to even be close to one. But God has showed me that I shouldn't say that anyone is unclean. And that, that's why I'm here. I, I realize now that God treats everyone the same. He accepts people from every nation who have respect for him and do what's right. Peter told them all about Jesus. And he told them how anyone who believes in Jesus, Jew or Gentile, will be saved. While Peter was speaking, the Holy Spirit came on everyone in the house who heard the message. Yeah. Hallelujah! This is the best day of my life. I forgot to change my costume. Oh, man. Well, surely no one can keep these people from being baptized. This is the best day of my life. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Hallelujah! I did it! Thank you! Thank you! Not sure baptism worked like that back then, but Everyone who believed in Jesus was baptized that day. After staying with Cornelius for a few days, Peter left to spread the word that faith in Jesus wasn't just for people like him, but for everyone. The end. That's a great story, Kellen. Yeah, and well done, so-and-so show players. That was so cool, but, but I'm wondering, uh, would we have ever heard about Jesus if Peter hadn't had that weird vision? That's a really good question. Before that vision, Peter thought Jesus was only for people who were the same as him. Yeah, but now we know Jesus came for everyone, even different people like us. Yeah, <laughs> and we are way different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, doesn't matter where you were born or the color of your skin or how different you are. We can put our faith in the same savior. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. Thank you, Kellen. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Hey, bye Kellen. Man, I really love that. No kidding. The so-and-so show players are the best. Mm -hmm. Reveal the question. Oh, hey, what are some ways people are different from each other? Yeah, it could be the way people look. Oh, like hair color or nostril shape. Mine are crooked. Oh, how mm -hmm. about that? Yeah, or it could be other things too, like uh, what subject in school people are good at or how many brothers and sisters people have? Yeah, the possibilities are pretty much endless. Yeah, so you guys talk it out. What are some ways people are different from each other? And we will see you next time. Yes, I am John. And I'm Brandon. And this was the So-and-So Show. <laughs> are we different from each other? I, pretty, yeah, we're very different. You think so? How? Yeah. I love Jesus. He's so cool. I love the Bible. It's so cool. I get to tell it after school. Psych at church. It's so cool. Can I finish a minute? Let me dance. <laughs> <laughs> hey Nova kids, our memory verse for this month is faith is being sure of what we hope for, it is being sure of what we do not see, Hebrews 11.1. This is my faith, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe and keep on looking, looking, looking to you For where I'm going, knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, looking, looking to you I'll fix my eyes on you
This is my face, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live in life, I shot the chorus Because I know, oh you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe And keep on looking, looking, looking to you For where I'm going, knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, looking, looking to you I'll fix my, I'll fix my eyes, eyes on you Alright guys, that wraps up another week. Actually, that wraps up our month of June. However, we are going to be continuing this talk on focus and our faith all summer long, so you don't want to miss out. We also have a fun announcement coming next Sunday regarding Nova Kids, maybe some water being thrown on somebody, so you don't want to miss that. All right. Before we sign off, let's go over our bottom line one more time. Knowing Jesus changes the way you see others. Can you say that with me? Knowing Jesus changes the way you see others. That means that you should love all people, even if they are different from you, even if they don't look or talk like you do. Even if they like different things, you can still be friends with them. You can still show them the love of Jesus with the words that you use and the way you choose to treat them. God made them just like he made you and me. He sent Jesus to be their savior too. Let's think about it. The reason we know Jesus today is because someone told us God wants all people to know about him. His rescue plan is for all of us. Okay, let's go into this week remembering that fact. We remember that knowing Jesus changes the way you see people. Let's also remember to apply sunscreen and have lots of fun. All right, we will see you back here next Sunday. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.